Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the James Charles X Morphe palette. If you are new to my channel, hey, I post three times a week and also basically what I was originally going to say was I got the palette at Christmas and if you haven't already already watched my what I got for Christmas, I will leave it in a card up here. I do need to remember to do that for my last video. I should remember that. But basically, I followed this, like, his tutorial of this look. I did that off camera, though. And, yeah, I'm just going to be giving my honest opinion on this palette. Is it patchy? Does Is there easy application? because obviously there's uh, different formulations in this palette and then I'll also do like insert like clip like around here of like me swatching them and all that stuff so yeah let's just get into the video and yes I am doing it a different direction this time So this is obviously what the palette looks like. I have still got the inner sheet and I do plan on trying to keep this. So let's put this in place where I'm going to see it. But this is obviously what the palette looks like. It's obviously arranged very, very beautifully. I've not used all of the shades in this palette. I have used this palette like four or five times and so I can give a good opinion so it's not just a first impressions I can give my honest opinion and I have done different looks because I've used the larger pans for like the natural not the natural but for the smoky eye I've used the purples and the pinks I've used the yellows and I've used the greens and I've used the blues I've used the orange the reds the gold and yeah, I've just used, I've used a lot of the shades. Not used all. Jesus Christ, what is going on with my hair? I've not used all, but I obviously will do in time, even though I did accidentally scratch um, Mar the shade Mary. That's very sad. Very, very sad. And I've not even used that shade yet. Like, I've not even swatched it. Oh, hello, hair bubble. But... Even though I'm going to be inserting like the swatches, like just what the swatches look like, I'm going to swatch a few of my favourites, the ones I've used, which are obviously the ones I've used the most. One of the ones I used a lot was Skip, and I yes, I am remembering the names, and obviously they are buildable. Obviously, B. I've used this quite a few times as well. Very, very pretty. I like the shade Playground, I believe it's called. Oh god. Yeah, Playground. I do also like Your Kidding. So I've got to say, you're kidding. I'm doing a second lot of these because sometimes to get the true potential, like the first swatch is good, but to get like, to like, it's like, wow, you need that second. And then things I've gone for all matte shades, let's go for this shade. There we go. Where did I put the oh whatever it is? Which is the shade shook. So yeah. Those are what they look like up close. Obviously the swatches of all of them will be up on the screen or well have already been up on the screen but so I might as well update you and I've managed to find the best lighting ever 
let's just say every single light in my living room is turned on. <laughs> There's a lamp, that is two lights, a lamp over there, the normal light, my mum's cross stitch lamp, well dining room's on. Is there any other light to turn on? No. I'm trying to get optimum lighting, but this is the makeup, like, I filmed what? Half two, I believe. Is it really only four hours later? But it's four hours later and the makeup is still intact, still glorious, still glamorous, so. And also that was my first time using the LMX glitter eyeliner and there will be a video coming out on that so stay tuned for that and if and so that you know when that video goes live hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you know when my videos go live because obviously YouTube does not notify you unless you have the post notifications turned on and I believe sometimes then it doesn't notify you but I'm giving you this quick update before I do the swatches part of the video so yeah And I know I, I'm i going to try and insert this before the, the I said bye part, but if not, then this is a nice cute added extra. Hope you enjoy. If you did, smash that like and let's get this to 10 likes, as I will say in a minute, or I will already have said. Depends how good my editing is. And yes, I do ramble on a lot but yeah i'm just gonna stop talking because i need to get on to doing the swatch it part but remember that swatch test like jeez i just like i had a lot of product on my hand and i didn't i hardly touched it as well jeez so now my hands are all messy makes me think of art attack I don't know why but like I said I've used the palette quite a few times and I have obviously experienced the formulations of the different shades because obviously the shade you're killing is a packed pigment so it's just red and so it obviously applies very differently and I will say what I do is when I first apply it I don't pack it on I swipe it on and then I go back in and I pack it on so then it's got that base so it's easy for me to blend into obviously I could use the orange but yeah I just find it works easier that way or at least for me anyway because I'm not the most experienced in makeup yet somehow I did all right with this and I used the little mix gold eyeliner for this because I feel like with black it's a lot easier to mess up. Does anyone else agree with me? I'll leave a poll up there. Finding out your answer. But yeah. It's just. But the one thing that is very very consistent. Is the pigmentation. You have incredible pigment. Like this yellow. Stunning. Like. I did a swatch on it. <laughs> Look how stunning that is. What I will say is like when you tap off the product from the brush, like I find this with quite a few of like the mattes, you get a lot of fallout. And also in the palette, I do find with the shimmer shades, even though it's not as obvious, you do get some kickback like a little bit that could have also been no yeah it was just you get some kickback I especially found you did with the shade oh god what shade I found you got that a lot with the shade like face and yeah but I, for me that's not a problem it's just like you do get the fallout 
which you get with any palette and I do still get that with some of the mattes and I'm going to show you what I mean by you get like a lot of excess on your brush so I'm just going to take the Morphe M513 and I'm just going to tap into the shade B like like how I usually do and give you a backdrop like do you see that but even though you've tapped off all of that still it does apply beautifully it's just maybe I shouldn't have tapped off that much excess it does apply beautifully it's just obviously I apply it quite thicker with the finger than I do because if I went straight in yes you'd get that pigment straight away but you I don't know whether you could see or like you could probably see flex of it but I got like I got fallout well just not fallout but excess and so that is something you do need to be careful of now you're probably wondering are these shadows patchy or like I guess streaky and well the answer is no they're not they apply incredibly like smooth and beautiful and elegant and this is all you could want from a palette like Morphe on their own do incredible palettes incredible formulation but it's like this palette is incredible the layout everything like you can tell that there's been over a year's thought put into this palette even with the shade names like flashback mary sister punch me face tune code james 10 percent off skip brother 518 you're kidding rusted mary flashback yeah there's just a lot going on with this palette and a lot of thought because it's very personal to him and i do quite like that because it's incredible to see when an artist has put so much effort into their product and it pays off like I would feel incredibly sorry if for whatever reason a shade didn't work but every shade works obviously they work in different ways so that is something to remember but and also whilst I've just thought of something the topic of staining came up to do related to this palette um if you want to know whether they stain well i found with the shade skip when i put it all over my eye it did stain but even though i can get it all off that day i found in the morning i didn't have the staining anymore so yes it does stain like after you've originally taken it off but you'll find in the morning your eyes aren't stained anymore so it's not a permanent stain it's just a temporary stain so yes it stains but it's not permanent go to like take your makeup off go to sleep and it'll be gone like unless you're putting on like the black then maybe you might it might still be there but yeah I found with the shade skip I did I got the staining after I took it off but next morning it was gone and that was the shade skip just in case anyone was wondering yeah and I have finally painted my nails yeah it's already coming off I hate it when that happens but that is my completely honest opinion of the James Charles X Morphe palette because I knew 
when I received this palette that the pigmentation was going to be incredible because it's Morphe and I already owned a Morphe palette and incredible pigmentation and I received a James Charles palette plus two other Morphe palettes so there will be reviews on that well on those plus I received two drugstores so watch out for reviews on those plus lots of other stuff like there's lipsticks liquid lipsticks and there was a highlighter palette so yeah watch out for those and if you are interested then hit that subscribe button because it's free uh, to join this family and yeah and let's see if we can get to the 150 subscriber mark because I seem to get there but then I seem to lose a subscriber at the exact same time like and this has happened to me a few times like I've hit it but then someone's un unsubscribed and it's like let's at least get it over the 150 subscriber mark let's try and get it to 200 subscribers like let's try or should I set a smaller target let's try and get it to 260 subscribers and let's try and get this video to 10 likes that's very small and if you want to see more makeup looks like this or even a little bit more simpler or if there's any looks you want me to create or recreate then let me know in the comment section because I read every single comment because I approve every single comment even though there's a really long one I deleted and then there was one that I accidentally deleted but I do read every single comment so hit always comment because I will always see it and yeah and I will see you guys in my next video bye